This is a little propaganda stunt called the either-or technique or the excluded middle. What propagandists will do is sometimes give you two choices, neither one of them good. And your mind is now supposed to be tricked into believing that that's the only two possibilities that could exist because you trust the author of the propaganda. Notice what this one blogger says recently. And this was just sent to me today. It says... Hello? Hey, so did you see that screenshot uh, picture of the screen I sent you guys? Yeah, hang on because I'm in the middle of making a video here and I'll have the video uploaded in a minute where I address that. So let me call you right back. Yeah, because I mean, you see all the logical fallacies that you think it's a use here and that, you know, he's, he's lumping us in with the watchtower. Don't say another word because I don't want any names mentioned and you're on the air right now and it's going to be in my video. So let me hang up so I can finish making this video. All right, buddy. Have a good one. Okay, bye. There's the confirmation of somebody else who saw this particular logical fallacy and sent it to me and he just called me. <laughs> so that's um, the unwitnessed, by the way. You should check out his channel. But notice the two choices given here. And there can't be any possibility of another choice. Just these two choices. Notice what it says here. The blogger says, My enemies fall into two main categories, the deluded and the pathological liars. Sometimes the two categories intertwine. So did you notice the two categories the person says his enemies fall into? These two categories are the deluded and pathological liars, or sometimes the two of these types of people collide. It couldn't just be that it's just some average person who's just tired of this guy's crap, his gaslighting and other things that he does in his blogs, and, you know, just regular people. No, they're deluded or they're pathological liars. Do you notice there's no third choice when in reality there are a whole array of choices here? The Watchtower Society does this same thing. If you look through their propaganda, you will see where they use a similar type fallacy. They may say you're either God's people or you're of the world. You can't just be an average person, maybe you don't even know anything about Jehovah's Witnesses or even care, or maybe you're actually a very nice person and you've been kind to people your entire life. No, in the Watchtower, you can be a child molester and be, well, imperfect. And where in the world, you can be a saint, you can be Mother Teresa, and you're part of Satan's wicked system. That's how this particular logical fallacy tricks people's minds. So this has been an example of the either-or technique, or what's called the excluded middle. And if you go to the link in the description, it'll take you to a summation of this from a pretty good website. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Ciao.